of all, so let us splice the booby fan. And now I'm reviewing a booby that is stumbled across. No one recommended it to me. I saw no review of it. It's just I've always stumbled across on my own. That has happened quite a few times this year, harsh it is. And let me tell you, it's a lot better to review movies I stumble across on my own rather than randomly picking up a movie from the requested list. I don't even remotely miss the times where I used to do requested reviews, not even remotely. Because right now, I have all the time in the world to just review what I'm interested in. With that being said, I am so fucking happy I stumbled across this movie. For a long time, my list of worst movies of 2023 was lacking. Thankfully it's not anymore, there are several movies on the list, including this one. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hold on. This movie is called The Amazing Maurice, really? Because the awful Maurice is a much more fucking fitting title. So anyway, this is basically about a cat who is a bad person and rats go to a city that has no fucking rats inside. Now we're gonna start by talking about Maurice played by Huge Laurie. Now, this cat is a bad person for sure. He lies to others, manipulates others, but honestly it's very fucking open from the start that the cat is not even remotely caring and only cares about himself. You know, for a cat, which is a bad person, he does a fucking terrible job hiding it. The only reason the rats in this movie fall for that is because they are fucking dumbasses, there is no other reason. Good fucking god. Yeah, it's obvious from the start that this cat is bad and he does a poor job hiding it, like I said. Now the next character that I'm going to talk about is a humor character. Malaysia played by Amelia Clark. My god, she is so fucking annoying. Now by the beginning of the movie, she is basically the fucking narrator. And she isn't even a good narrator. She just states the obvious and tells us things that would make for a better movie if we figured all that shit out on our own. Yeah, I fucking hate when a narrator explains stuff that we can't figure out on our own just by watching the fucking movie. And that stuff that we figure out on your own isn't even that hard. She explains how Murray is a bad cat that doesn't really care about the rats. But no shit, we can't see that by watching the fucking movie. And she eventually stops being the narrator and is such a character in the fucking movie. And let me tell you, she is so fucking annoying. She keeps talking about how she is in her story and how she keeps experiencing plot cliches, stuff like that. Honestly, it's so fucking annoying. And honestly, despite talking like what looks like breaking the fourth wall, I legit don't think she's even aware that she's in the movie. I think she's just crazy. Yeah, that is the very issue of why breaking the fourth wall almost never works. Most of the times, it doesn't feel like breaking the fourth wall, but instead feels like the characters are just crazy. But yeah. Everything she says in the dialogue after she's the local narrator becomes part of the movie. It's very fucking annoying. And honestly, the rats aren't that interesting either. I remember a bit about them, but they are, for the most part, just bland and forgettable. That's it. And that's really fucking sad because the rats are just as important to the movie as the two characters were mentioned. Now, unfortunately, Malaysia is the only character who talks up nonsense about how everyone is in a story and attempts to break the first wall and fails. It actually happens quite a lot of times in the movie, including from fucking Maurice. And guess what? It's just as annoying as what she does it. Yeah, if I haven't made it clear already, the humor also falls flat. No one of it is fucking funny, and the villain is bad too, but I have said enough about the characters. So it's time for my overall thoughts. Wow, what the hell is this plant mass? It's just bland and not that interesting. And for that, I'm of course gonna give it a rating two middle fingers. Now, to give credit, this movie would probably be fucking low on my worst movie of 2023 list. But I assure you, it's still going on there. It's gonna make it, or at the very least, a fucking dishonorable mansion. If I find 15 movies that are worse than this. But the year is over half it done, so I doubt I'm gonna find that many fucking bad movies. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.